Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Respected viewers, welcome back once again to Al Islam Productions This is a very short video regarding the topic that we were on before Ramadan on the series on refutation of the pseudo Salafi Wahhabi Aqeedah Now we've made over a hundred videos on this topic you know on a variety of topics um, with regards to the anthropomorphism and the um, innovation of the Wahhabi pseudo Salafis in matters of creed and in particular with regards to the names and the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now we all know that the pseudo Salafis have a very basic claim. It seems nice from the surface, but is actually something that they themselves do not adhere to. When I say they, I mean their top scholars and ulama. Now, one of their claims is that we affirm for Allah what he has affirmed for himself and we negate from Allah what he has negated from himself. My brothers, when it comes to the word yad, which literally means a physical hand, okay, we find these people heading towards and inclined towards the anthropomorphic meaning of this, which is a hand, physical hand, and then they have the usual disclaimers, but not like the hand of creation, right? When we ask them to negate limbs from Allah, we find them hesitant. We find them making all types of excuses saying, look, negating this is not something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has asked us to negate. We only negate what Allah has negated from himself, etc. To remove all this confusion, I have for you, my brothers, a very, very clear cut reference from the the most senior Wahhabi pseudo Salafi Sheikh of recent times who's passed away, Sheikh Uthaymeen. Now, Sheikh Uthaymeen, in his Sharhu Aqidati Ahli Sunnati Wal Jama'a, right, he writes very clearly. Someone asks him a question, Mas'ala. Can is it permissible for us? And I'll put it on the screen with the Arabic text and also the English translation. Is it permissible for us to say, in Allah sami'un bila udhun? Is Allah subhanahu is it permissible for us to say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all hearing without, is all hearing without an ear? He says that it is not permissible, this is the answer he gives, it is not permissible for us to say, Allah is all hearing without an ear because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not negated an ear from himself. So it is not suitable for us to say Allah is all hearing without an ear because of the possibility that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has an ear. He says, it is possible Allah has an ear. My brothers, the word udhun that he's used and he said is possible for Allah is nowhere to be found. There is nothing on this. There is no word that the pseudo Salafiyya are going by. So the fact that they're linking the faculty of hearing with an ear which is an organ, a limb, which is a tool that aids the human body for receiving sounds and comprehending sounds. These people are attributing this limb for Allah. This is a clear sign of their anthropomorphism. This is innovation in Aqeedah. This is not the way of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. The way of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah is very clear that we, we state the tanzih of Allah, that Allah is pure 
from any form of similarity and likeness with creation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is beyond comprehension. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability and give people the ability to understand the innovation and the bid'ah in aqidah of the pseudo Salafi Wahhabi sect. Wa akhir da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.